guys, it's Megan from Made for Mermaids, and I got two big packages for today, just like this, from um, So So English, and I thought I would do a fabric haul for you guys, because I was asking about YouTube videos and what you want to see, and some people were asking for hauls. Now, I ordered this um, three or four weeks ago, so I actually don't quite remember what it is. But I usually don't buy for anything specific. Sorry, this might take me a minute to get open. But because I do have quite a large stash already, so I just buy things that I like in a couple yards. Um, there's probably a lot of brush poly in here, or rayon spandex. That's really what I like for myself and for my daughter. Okay, so first box, we have, this is like a wine Merlot, it looks a little more red on the camera, but it's more wine colored. This is a double brush poly, so it's super soft, like the Lou Rue leggings type of material. I got that, it looks like there's maybe two yards. And then I got some navy. I always buy a lot of prints when I buy fabric and I forget to buy solids so I grabbed a whole bunch of solids this time. Black, mustard, looks like I only got a yard of this one. Oh here's some pretty French terry. So this is, feels like a rayon French terry so it still drapes really nice. It's a nice floral and it has the looped back. See there. So it's going to be good for like a sweatshirt or a t-shirt dress, something like that, or even joggers. Let's see. This looks like a denim -y, light denim French terry. Again, it's um, really soft, so it must be some rayon in there. We also have, oh, I remember this one. Also have some red double brush poly, so for leggings, dresses, tops. And this is some sequin. I actually bought this one specific for a top, so I need to sew it because it's coming out next week. But I thought this would make a cute um, New Year's top, which it's already passed, but you could do it as a date night. So this is still stretchy. Not too stretchy. You couldn't make like ooh, a pencil skirt or something out of this because it doesn't have enough stretch. I think the sequins will pop, but for a nice top, which is what I'm gonna use it for, it'll be really pretty. Now, on to the next one. boxes are harder to get open because they're self-sealed. Okay. And next one. Got some plaid. This feels like a jersey. Like a cottony jersey. So it's, but it still has some drape to it. It's really pretty. It'll be a cute little top. Oh, and then I've been waiting for this one. This is a this one's a double brush poly. This is where I, um, they've had this back in stock, which is why I placed the order in the first place, and then just ended up getting obviously a lot. I got a couple yards of that one. I wanted to make some leggings and a top. Ooh, this one is really. This is like a poly something. It's a some kind of poly one, but it's really slinky. It's pretty. It's a plaid again. I don't know what I'm going to do with that because it's a little bit bigger than I thought, but so cute. Oh, I love this one. This is another double brush poly. It's a floral. And again, it's kind of showing up red on the camera, but it's more wine maroon colored. 
It's really pretty. I got a couple yards of it to make a dress or a tunic. Here it is. I can't tell if this is a sweater knit or a really light French terry, but I'm trying to feel it. I can't tell. They're freezing. It's actually snowing today here in Texas. So all the fabric is so cold. But this is really cute. I um got this for Christmas time, but I can still wear it for winter or honestly just save it for next year. No big deal. And these ones I got specifically because my poor daughter on camo day had nothing camo to wear. So I got her, these are French Terry, I got her some camo fabric. So there's one in green and then also a gray. And all of these French Terries are really soft. You can see it's still drapes. Let me see. I'll do it on my cup. They still drape really nice. So you can use them as a top or something. It wouldn't have to be pants. Well, that is it. I say that is it. Lots of fabric. I order. I usually, when I order online, I usually order in bulk like that because there's no sense in paying shipping for just one or two yards. So I just get a whole bunch of stuff I think that I might need for upcoming patterns. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you want more fabric hauls. I get fabric all the time. So just let me know and tell me what other videos you guys want to see. I'd love to make them. Bye.